Hello everybody and welcome back to Amazing Tech for All. Today I decided to make a video on how to add subtitles to your movie in Jellyfin. Now Jellyfin has been a very very useful media center and it's been effective in showing us showing me movies on my own system and which I can make it make possible for everybody in my house to see and you can see this um, how to set it up on uh, on two platforms one will be true nas which i've used in the past and the other one is using through docker so those i've got two videos of those that you can uh, take advantage of and you can look at it over here so uh if you haven't subscribed to my uh, to my channel yet please like and subscribe this video it really helps to grow this channel thank you very much let's start with the with the video so as if i play this video over here uh, if i start the video you can see there's no plugins available or, or no, there's no subtitle functionality. If I click on it over here, it will start the movie and there's no, there'll be no site subtitles, all right? So uh, there's no way yet to enable subtitles. This is just playing with the speed and so on. So let's get out of this movie and let's go to where the subtitles, where you can enable the subtitles. So firstly, you will have to click on the three little uh lines over here the menu lines click on that and go to dashboard once you've clicked on dashboard you need to go to the catalog for plugins so under on the left you will see all the um, menu items over here and you'll scroll down all the way to where you see plugins and then my plugins and underneath will be catalog so let's go into find catalog <coughs> and under the catalog we'll look for the open um, subtitles menu or uh, uh, plugin let's scroll down do we see it anywhere here open subtitles so let's see if we click on that it is not currently installed so we'll click install this will take a few seconds okay it's installed so now it will be available under my plugins so in order to to make use of it you need to go get uh details of the oh we, once we've installed it we need to restart jellyfin let's go that let's go there and let's click on the restart so we first go to the left button I, uh, item here called the dashboard and we click on restart this will also take a few seconds <clears throat> once you've restarted the application and you go back to my plugins you will go to open subtitles all right and then you will click on the three little dots and you will click on the settings button here you will see it requires a username and a password to take advantage of this functionality so we'll click on the register link right click on that and just say open open subtitles.com <coughs> and here you can register once you've registered, you type in your username and a password and so on, and this will allow you to, uh, to then pull subtitles from you. Now, I've already done this before, so I'm not going to. So here, yeah, you'll just type in a username, whatever, and a password and an email address and so on, and register. With that, once you've registered, you can go into your application again, and you can click on you'll type in your username that you've used and your password uh, let me just type in that and this will give us the once we've clicked on save it should give us the functionality to enable subtitles on on the movie right so that has been saved and now we will go back to the movie. Uh, we'll click on the little button over here. Let's go on to the movie. Open the movie up and we can go here to. If on the three dots of the movie, you can click on the uh, edit subtitles option. <clears throat> and if your movie is correct, we can do a search here. Let's go to English, which is my language of choice and we'll select, click on the search button and if all goes well the 
subtitles for that particular movie will go down so you will see that there is frame rate associated with each one of these so the frame rate means that you will ensure that your subtitles synchronizes with the movie. So in order to identify the frame rates of the video or the movie that you have, let's click on the two buttons again and we'll go to media info. And here we can see the frame rate is 23,976. 23,976. Let's go back to subtitles. Edit subtitles. You'll do another search, and here we can see 23,976. Yeah, they all seem to fall within that. So I'm going to take the first one and download it. It will queue it for, for downloading. There we go. You'll see on the bottom left side that it will queue for downloading. Once that is done, you can go back to the movie, and I believe if you refresh it, let's just see if it helps. You will now see that there's a subtitles in the off or on state. If we click the move, if you click on start, suddenly we now have a opportunity to enable the subtitles. Actually how the so there we go. Was there Five are features where we can make enable the the, the 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 size of the text, if you prefer, or um there's other features as well let's just see if it's anything over here subtitle offset so yeah you can adjust the speed at which the subtitles uh go for faster or slower if it's if it hasn't caught up with it but uh let's just take a look at the settings here quickly i believe there's a place where we can go and change the the settings for the subtitles um let's just go here that's my plugins uh, no, I'm not seeing it right now. But anyway, <clears throat> we will be able to set, as you can see, we've now successfully added subtitles to our video by creating these credentials on opensubtitles.com and then going back to the movie and then enabling it while it's in play. So if we press play again, You'll Rock see, uh, move that, you can see that the subtitle is at the bottom of the video, let's just see, oh that's a bit noisy and no speaking, okay. go back here. So, success. So. so, if we want to edit the subtitles on how it is playing, we can, or how it appears, we can adjust it by clicking on the little three, the buttons over here, and then we can click on settings and user settings, the under user, and we can find subtitles over there. And here we can set the mode for the subtitles. With it. So the details around this, I'm a bit sketchy on. There's a description of what you can do with it. Uh, you can burn the subtitles onto the, the content itself, as far as I understand. But uh, the appearance of the subtitles, you know, the text size may be a problem for you. If it's too small, you can make it larger. Um, and then you can say the, which color it should have. Should it be bold? Should it be um, lighter? Let's see, the font is the default. I will just leave it at that. And let's go and take a look and see if it makes it, what the type of difference is uh, on the movie we were watching before. So we'll click on home button, click on the movie we were watching, click on start, yes. I will now you can see burn what the, half my battery yes. every day. So you can see that the text uh, of, the, not, of the video shows in a, in a bold uh, text and large enough to read better. The previous uh, font was a little bit too small. So that is how you can insert subtitles to your video or to your movies and how to edit them to make them appear in a comfortable way for you to, to enjoy. Thank you very much. <clears throat>